majina ya guni naitwa James Jafia. Kwa sababu nilikuwa ninakulua na Jigas, sikukua na viatu. Hata sikukua ninaenda shule. Sasa niko nazo. Tuli sana. Kwa hivyo ninawashukuru sana. Sasa nimefurahi sana. Nimefurahi kukua kijana tena. Southwest Airlines is committed to being a responsible global citizen. In 2012, as part of our aircraft cabin retrofit, we use new eco-friendly materials, including replacing our seat covers. And as a result, we had nearly 43 acres of used leather. On top of reducing the weight of each plane by 600 pounds, that leftover leather gave us a unique opportunity to pay it forward. The stuff that came off the airplane, we knew we had to do something with because it wouldn't have exactly been sustainable had we just pitched that stuff onto the landfill. We wanted to create a second life for the leather. You know, Bill, growing up in Kenya, said, have you looked abroad? Have you looked in Kenya? Because I think that it could really be of use there. And that really opened up some new avenues for us. We had some ideas around how we could get some of our leather over there to seed some sort of micro industry, not only find a second life for the leather, but also see if we could make it sustainable in a way that there could be an industry that follows this initial donation. So this donation of leather is going to benefit a couple of partners through SOS Kenyan Children Village. One is Maasai Treads, which is a local company, is going to be using leather to make shoes, and that supports a major campaign in Kenya called the Anti-Jigger Campaign, to put closed-toed shoes on children. Being involved in this project, which is going to help so many children, is a joy for us all here in Maasai Treads. We have always wanted to give back to the community, and this provides us with the perfect opportunity to do so while maintaining our core values. None of this would have been realized without the Southwest Leather donation. We're going to work with a nonprofit called Alive and Kicking, which is going to use our leather to create soccer balls. They use soccer as a way to teach health education, whether it's HIV AIDS prevention or malaria prevention. And so if you can teach health education through sports, what a wonderful idea. And they're also going to employ some of the youth in Nairobi to help make these soccer balls. As much as most of our SOS children are abandoned or orphaned, we aim to raise them in the most natural environment, just like any other person, because they're always looking for ways that they can be reintegrated back into society. These children really need mentors, and it's really fantastic if we have partners like Southwest equipping them with skills that will then be translated into their workplace later in life. So this donation from Southwest Airlines is very unique and very different from other donations because this project is very sustainable. Beading is just a tool, you know, for them to develop social skills because some of these people grew up not able to really relate. My parents died and left me when I was still young. Na nikakosa jinsi ya kujikimu kimaisha. Ambapo nilikuwa 16 years, niliingilia genge mbaya na nilifanya mauvu mingi sana. The donation for Southwest Airlines will absolutely help us provide more employment, build a bigger workshop and accommodation so that we can have this training center in a, a better place. To me, that is a big fulfillment. It's hard to describe the gamut of emotions with seeing how the leather from our airplanes is really having a, a second life, especially with the volumes that we're talking about. We can impact so many people more importantly is to get people thinking about their commercial waste. They think they really have no options. They really do. And it's just a matter of digging a little deeper and, and figuring out what they can do with it. Thank you to Southwest Airlines.